Hello. Just recently I uh, went to Bulgaria and I bought a bunch of um, cut and polished pieces but also some rough stones from mostly two different locations. One of them being the famous Orpheus agates from uh, near the small town of Kordjali and um, the other location is from Nanovica, which is a little bit more uh, to the east of the country. And um, there's two pieces that seem to have um, nice inclusions in maybe plume, plume shape. So this is one is this one is first going to be an experiment because I want to cut it uh, just across this seam to see how the uh, how the inclusions develop inside of the stone. So this will be uh, my little experiment. And on this one, I think this is a much more valuable stone because it seems to have red plume inclusions, which are just very, very rare. And I will probably try to cut it um, just in between these two windows here. So I, in the end, I will hopefully have like a kind of, um, yeah, triangle cut or diagonal cut across the piece, but avoid the two windows to keep the, the plume inclusions intact. And on this one, this is actually a fun, a fun story because um, I was selling some rough stones uh, during a live, sto a live show on Facebook the other week and um, this was the only rough, uh, rough specimen that didn't sell right away. I think I offered it for, uh, for $30 and um, I said if it doesn't sell then I'm just going to cut it myself. So here we are and it seems like I mean, it has pretty good volume to cut across and seems to have some clear calcedony, some moss inclusions as well. So I think this might actually be a nice inclusion piece. And then we have two large size pieces from the Nanovica location. So most of these agates are significantly smaller than this. So these are really exceptional pieces for the size. And here you can see these are the origins of the pseudomorph and they will probably explode towards the center of the stone and here you can see the saginite has all been agatized on top as well so I think this will be a very very good piece and um, the other one's also pretty cool it has a druzy opening where you can also see the agatized um, um, saginite inside the druzy so this is a really cool feature that I think I've not seen at any other place worldwide other than from this location and I think it is really really cool and I hope it will be cutting nicely. First agate is in the saw and ready to be cut. It turned out to have these plume structures here, which is nice. And yeah, it's pretty exactly how I was thinking it would turn out. Second one is ready to go. So this is the second piece we cut and it turns out to have this typical green surrounding color and with a clear blue chalcedony in the center. So it is a nice one, but nothing too spectacular.
This is the third piece I cut and with this one I was having a little bit trouble putting it in the saw because at first I wanted to cut it for a little bit bigger face um, but I couldn't get it in the saw with the adjustment of the angle so in the end I decided to work a little bit with like wood support to change the angle a little bit um, and this is a really top quality piece because um, with this kind of plume structure um, it is just super rare to cut any pieces like this and the contrast in this piece is really insane So that's a really really top quality piece for the location and also what the Orpheus agates are famous for with these beautiful red plume inclusions It's ready to go. So this was the fourth piece uh, we've been cutting. It's a really high quality rough stone where you can already see it has super high potential with the sagenite and pseudomorph going on and it just turned out to be as fantastic as I was hoping. Just beautiful sprays of the Saginite with clear chalcedony and blue and brown surrounding these fine needle inclusions. So this is a very, very nice piece. All right, number five is in the saw and ready to be cut. Sieht gut aus. This is the last one of the Bulgarian agates I've been cutting and you can already see these incredible Saturnite uh, sprays that I mentioned in the beginning and it turned out beautiful because it's not only the Saturnite that was already visible but a lot more sprays all over this specimen and the chalcedony is just so clear so you can see the needles from far back in the piece as well and in my opinion this is a top quality piece for the location.